So SafeWards is uh, a model that aims to reduce the need for physical restraint and coercion on inpatient wards when uh, inpatients are presented as very aroused, or aroused and aggressive. Safe Wards has its origins in Scandinavia, um, but in this country it's been largely driven by a professor of psychiatric nursing at the Maudsley Hospital in London called Len Bowers. And it was based on a city model where staff uh, engaged proactively with service users and uh, took an interest in service users and were able to control their own natural reactions to aggressive or aroused behaviour. Um, this enabled a, a much more conducive and calm therapeutic environment. I've been recently appointed as the AWP Safe Wards Involvement Worker. My aim is to really make a, an influence on uh, nursing and OT and medics attitudes to how uh, service users are spoken to and how they're treated and what expectations are around uh, empathy, hope, um, genuineness uh, and, and engaging uh, positively with service users. I want to see uh, nursing practice become much more reflective and proactive uh, and to tackle um, cynical attitudes to nursing and careless use of language and words. Is around uh, how staff and service users meet, cooperate, um, communicate with each other in a genuine and positive and caring and an understanding manner. They can expect to be treated with, with kindness care, empathy, hope and understanding. This is uh, what happens um, when there has been an incident on ward, when uh, an inpatient has uh, showed aggressive or aroused behaviour, uh, and maybe this has led to them being uh, restrained or is uh, isolated, unfortunately. And what we like to see happen if uh, coercive uh, restraint is required, um, the inpatients surrounding the event are reassured uh, to, to ensure their own well-being, that they understand what's, what's happened, um, so that it, it, brings that, you know, it brings that the temperature of, of, the, of the unit down, um, it calms, it reassures, it reaffirms the fact that um, they are st service users are still cared for and thought about and, and are considered. what happens once again when somebody is uh, presenting as aggressive and aroused and how this is managed and the kind of language that people use and the way they use those words to placate somebody, to uh, enable them to uh, de-escalate with the assistance of the, of the staff members. We want to encourage communication with service users that is thoughtful and caring.